Hey cleaners, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite builds in Back for Blood, the Spray and Pray. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this helpful. So this is a submachine gun DPS build for players that want to shoot bullets extremely quick to take down mutations, have great accuracy through hip fire, still be quite durable, and not worry about aiming down sights to be accurate. There are a few drawbacks for this build, including not being able to use sniper rifles, you have limited range from using SMGs, and not being exactly helpful to the team and only concentrating on killing Ridden. The best character for this build in my opinion is Walker because he has a permanent 10% damage bonus plus he gets added accuracy when he gets precision kills. If he's taken, Holly and Carly are good options. Make sure no one wants to play melee then take Holly because she has the damage resistance bonus. Carly is good because she can see where mutations are coming from and be ready for them. Back for Blood uses a deck building system to make a build. For those unaware, every build is made up of 15 cards which you choose, which you'll unlock through playing the game, completing missions, and spending supply points in supply lines. We'll now look at the cards that makes up this build. So we start off with the card Mag Carrier, which will give us more SMG ammo and it'll give us a damage to SMGs again. Then one of the most important cards for the entire deck is Mag Coupler, which will increase your reload speed by 50%, but then disables the aim down sights. So as we talked about before, we won't be aiming down the sights at all in this build. So then we take any cards that also have that it disables aim down sights, which is quick kill, uh, which increases your accuracy, meaning that your uh, reticle uh, spread is smaller. Reckless Strategy and Ridden Slayer, we're taking these for the increased weak spot damage so that we can deal more damage to the mutation Ridden. Then uh, we have the accuracy, we have the ammo, we have the reload speed, so we're taking even more reload speed. But if you get Mag Coupler right off the bat, you might not need uh, the Wide Mouth Magwell or the Reload Drills immediately. You can go for other cards such as Ammo Pouch and Ammo Belt, which will give you 25 and 50% more ammo capacity. Scar Tissue is pretty good, but could be something that you switch for something that you prefer instead. But this will let you take less damage from all Ridden. A very important card, um, I would say five or six supply lines in, you're going to find the Motorcycle Helmet, which gives you high damage resistance and health, once again disabling aim down sights. So you have three cards that will disable it. Uh, then you have Padded Suit for damage resistance. And as you can see, there's a lot of cards that will decrease our stamina efficiency, meaning that we, I believe, will use up stamina more often or it doesn't regenerate as quickly. We use Hunker Down as well, uh, because in higher difficulties, you should be crouching more often, like the people in front should be crouching, uh, so the people in the back can shoot over their heads. Uh, it'll give you more, even more damage resistance and 40% uh, more accuracy. And then uh, you can have Optics Enthusiast for, once again, more accuracy. Once again, uh, decreasing your stamina efficiency. And finally, I have here Combat Knife. When, say, things get really hairy, you can just stab and, and kill as many uh, Ridden that's in your face. But I put it at the bottom because you should not... In most situations, you should not need to use the Combat Knife. Uh, what I would recommend uh, instead of that specific card is to use to use a down in front instead so to switch out combat knife with down in front because this will work well with your hunker down which you get a bonus when you crouch right here uh, when you're doing uh, normal or sorry veteran and nightmare difficulties there's going to be more friendly fire so if you take down in front then you'll you will neither take nor deal friendly fire damage and it gives you a nice health health buff as well so for once again for veteran and for nightmare difficulties i would switch out combat knife let's take that out and put that down in front instead 
and that might be something that I move higher up the line once again for higher difficulties. One of the great things about the Spray and Pray class is that you don't need to do too much thinking about which weapon to use. It's all about SMGs. If you didn't watch my primary gun analysis video, now might be a good time, but essentially, the UMP-45 does the most damage, but shoots slower compared to others. The MP-5 has the best handling, but lower damage. The Vector has the smallest magazine, but the highest rate of fire. The Uzi has the lowest stats among all SMGs, but has the largest magazine. Through experience, you'll find out which one is your favorite to use. I personally like the Vector for its extremely high rate of fire. When it comes to gun attachments, don't bother with scopes because you won't be able to aim down the sights, so leave them for your party members. The most important gun attachment is the laser sight, which will increase your accuracy through hip fire. When it comes to gun stocks, look out for the ones that increase move speed. And all magazines for SMGs, in my opinion, are great. So that is the spray and pray build for Back for Blood. I hope you enjoy it. I'll now show off some of the gameplay to it. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for other Back for Blood build videos, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching. One, this is Rover Two. We've got a solution to our arms problem. Over. This is Rover One. Over. We're heading to the clock. Get a rifle through the wreckage of that old cargo plane. We'll see what we find. Just one thing. We're gonna need the helo. You get there, you have got it. Just try not to die in the process. We're short on personnel. Hope one out. Target the head.